those of you guys who are new to the channel, I do happen to switch cars often. A lot of the titles of my videos are my new car or getting my new car or something along those lines. And some of you guys are probably just wondering what the hell, you know, why is this kid constantly getting new cars? Um, basically, there's nothing that says I can't do that. And these cars are all about $5,000 range in terms of value. And uh, no one seems to bother. Um, no one seems to care. I mean, I do everything officially with insurance and the state and all that. And it doesn't matter. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick justification for those of you wondering why and how and uh, just what I've been doing to get all these different cars. Uh, I just switch and there's nothing else to it really. Anyways, let's get back to the car. This is my 2004 Infiniti G35X. Um, just got this as a trade for that Mustang in my last video. Um, basically, it's a great car. Uh, for those of you guys who aren't familiar, the Infiniti G35 is basically a 350Z, but a luxury version of it. Um, so let's go ahead and turn the camera around in the car and give you guys a quick tour. All right, so here it is, my 04 G35X. Um, as you can see, we're standing 10 feet away. This car looks pretty much brand new. I mean, the paint is excellent. It's shining like crazy. Um, we got some window tint, if you guys noticed that already. It's 20% in the front and 50% in the back and the uh, back glass as well. So yeah, car looks great. I mean, we're standing 10 feet away from it. Um, no big imperfections, but let's give it a quick walk around. Um, we got the stock wheels. The last owner, Plassey, dipped them. He did a really good job, actually. They, they're not peeling or anything. Uh, it gives the car a good contrast, in my opinion. So yeah, paint looks good. Um, these have LED taillights, which is one of my favorite parts. Uh, still got the Infinity badges on there, which is great. A lot of people debadge these, but I really like the way that this looks stock. Um, so yeah, it looks pretty clean all the way around. Uh, we got new tires also on those wheels to be a good rich all terrains. Yeah, the paint is just shockingly good condition and all I've done to it so far was wash it and do a clay bar. Uh, it's crazy how much just those two things alone uh, really make the car stand out. So yeah, it's a G35X. I'm sure you guys have seen one before. But, um, the X is kind of rare because it's the all wheel drive. Uh, it doesn't really make it any better or worse. I mean, it's just all wheel drive. So it's heavier, that's the downside, but of course all wheel drive gets more traction. You guys know all that stuff. Um, anyways, let's get a little bit closer to the car. Um, so the grill was painted plastic dip black also. Um, got some rock chips and stuff, but this car has 150,000 miles, so it's whatever. You really have to look closely to see them. Um, you know, little stuff like that, a little bit of clear coat fade. And then over here is the only actual, uh, you could you could say damage. This is peeling uh, paint over here. So is what it is. I mean, everything looks pretty fine. So I'm gonna have this whole front bumper uh, refinished. There's a couple little chips and a little dent over here. Nothing major. Um, yeah, the window tint, like I was saying, is really well done. I've actually never had a car with it done so well. I mean, there's literally zero imperfections in it. Um, it's not too hard to see out of, if you, any of you guys are wondering, um, limo tint, you can't see anything. It's just a total mirror, there I am. Um, the front, you can obviously see the interior more, which we will get into in a second. But yeah, uh, 04 G35X, these make about 270 horsepower, 270 torque, 3.5 V6, same as the 350Z. It's decently quick, but it's also heavy. I think it weighs about 3,600 pounds, uh, according to Google. Um, so let's just get right into it. The seat's ripped. Um, kind of crappy. Definitely had some tape on it. I don't know what happened. Um, so I might look for a new driver's seat. I might do some kind of patch. I don't know. But um, it's not too bad. Everything still works. The heated seat still works. So it's what it is. It's ugly, but let's get that out of the way. Um, this interior is really, really cool looking. Um, you can see the leather on the wheel is kind of uh, off over here, but it still feels good. Um, it is an automatic, not a six speed. If it was a six speed, this car would be worth double what I paid for it. So not too worried about that. Getting into here, if you do this, it does have the factory nav option, which is hilarious. The graphics are very old school. Um, let's see. Yep, basic leather infinity seats. The back seat is actually really nice. They actually recline which is crazy. 
So yeah, it's anyways, it's got um, infinity on the sill plate, which looks nice and upscale. And then getting into the back here, got the same sills. And then um, it's really dark in here with the window tint, but like I said, these seats recline. They're super comfy. You got the nice uh, pillow top headrest. Um, here's when I look at the dashboard. I think it's a really, really good looking, classy, but still uh, definitely Japanese looking dash. Uh, one quick thing to mention with the uh, shifter down there is just that the transmission is very fast in this and I did not expect it. It's just a five-speed automatic, but um, it really shifts very quickly and um, with great response with that shifter. So I was pretty pleasantly surprised with that. Um, we got a little bit of a rust spot right there. Nothing too bad. But yeah, I'd say overall the exterior is probably eight, eight and a half out of ten. Um, if I fix this bumper, it'll probably be a little bit more than that. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and pop the hood. All right, so here it is, ladies and gentlemen. A VQ35DE. The same motor out of the 350Z from the same year. Um, not much to say that's not already been said. This is totally bone stock, and I cleaned it, which is a good way to do it, I guess. At least a way to start for me. Um, glass fiber composite, this looks pretty cool. Kind of got that like uh, carbon look that's on some of the new Lamborghinis almost. Um, it's got a power duct, whatever that means, just definitely gimmicking. Uh, Infinity logo, V6 3.5, just the same engine cover as 350Z, but different badge, I mean, very similar stuff. We got a RC helicopter in the background, if you guys are noticing a weird noise, by the way. Um, but anyways, the under the hood, it says advanced front midship. And I, this is one thing that you guys are probably gonna laugh at me if you know these cars, but I never saw it before. And I was like, what the hell does that even mean? And then I kind of realized that the engine is uh, kind of like more than half back behind the shock tower. So I guess mid engine is kind of how they could claim it. But um, that's basically the engine. Like I said, about 270 horsepower, 270 torque. Um, it might be plus or minus a little bit on that. I'm not too sure. Um, but anyways, it's a pretty healthy motor. I mean, it's a 3.5 and it's Japanese, so it definitely makes decent power, but nothing crazy. Like I said, this car weighs about 36, 3,700 pounds with the all wheel drive. So it's quick, but not lightning fast by any means. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video out here. I really hope you guys like uh, checking out the G35. This car is gonna stay as a daily long-term. Uh, it's super nice, super cheap, so I'm excited to keep it going. Um, essentially, I plan on buying a project car. I'm thinking about uh, something along the lines of a Miata or something else, maybe a Civic uh, that's lightweight, kind of not luxury oriented at all since I'll have this car as a daily. But anyways, um, this car has been really great so far. I'm really excited to keep it and uh, I definitely want to do some more modifications. I actually have an intake in the trunk and I'm working on exhaust uh, very soon. So stay tuned for that video. And with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and say bye. Take it easy guys, have a great weekend. I hope you had a great Memorial Day and take it easy. Peace.